you want your control FPS go from here to here with ray tracing enabled, stick around. So our resident spider hood did it again. Before the mod, I got about 40 to 50 FPS without ray tracing with maximum settings. And to be honest, 40 to 50 FPS doesn't feel bad in this game. It didn't stutter for me. That's a big for me. So this FG mod is going to make it even better. So leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support you guys gave me lately. Let's do this. For AMD users, I can't guarantee this will work, but the mod maker used a uh, Intel Arc 750 to test this. So thumbs up for Intel users. In control, you have to do some extra steps to make the game work with the frame gen mod. And it's working flawlessly for me, for me. So first go to the PC gaming wiki link in the description. Scroll down till you see the unofficial comprehensive patch. Click on it. Click on download this file, then agree and download. In here, if you are a free user like me, you can choose no DRM file. If you use Steam version, you can get this, Epic version, this. So we free users download the file in the middle. Then go to your control game installed location. If you are unsure about this, you can backup all these files and this data folder. After that, open the downloaded file and extract everything to the game folder. Replace everything. If you don't do this step, you can't enable DLSS in-game settings. So this is an important step. Then open the game once to see if the game is working before installing the mod. If it works, you can go for the next step, that is downloading the OptiScaler. Link will be in the description. After you download OptiScaler, extract everything to the game folder. So for control, this next step is little bit different too. You have to rename the copied nvngx.ini file to winmm.dll instead of dxgi.dll Copy the in-game nvngx underscore dlss.dll file and paste it in the same folder. Rename that file as nvngx.ini For AMD and Intel users, you will need to do some spoofing. So I will put a link in the description, go there and do as it says. Then open DLSS override folder and run this enable signature override registry file. Okay, now we can open the game. Make sure to open the game using the DX12 version, not DX11. Before launching the game, this step is crucial. If you have any kind of FPS overlays like RTSS or any overlays, even the Steam or Epic overlay, just disable them. Otherwise, the game will crash at launch without any errors or even if it works, the game will freeze after 2-5 to five seconds or you will break frame generation. So after closing everything, open the game. If you go to the settings, you can enable DLSS now. After enabling DLSS, you can press insert key to get this menu. If you are a NVIDIA user, you can use DLSS. It has more sharpness and clearer image than FSR 3.1.1. But FSR 3.0 has more FPS, so choose FSR 3.0x. Now you can enable frame gen and HUD fix. But HUD flicker is still there. Then you need to tick this extended option. and voila no flicker or anything you can further support the mod by disabling film grain and motion blur if you still have flicker after this you can increase this value 
and you can copy my settings or experiment things yourself. Hit the save INI button to save your settings to the nvngx.ini file after you do the changes. As you can see the game is smooth for me. For me. And you can enable ray tracing as well. So that's it. I hope you learned something. And thank you for watching. Until next video. Adios amigos. It's the dead man. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go?